Okay, so you have a Weaver unit. Harness, handy make. And you installed one of these. Okay. And you thought you could just tie it into the wiring that comes from the condensate pump. The two red wires. But watch what happens. Nothing. The unit still runs. This condensate pump uses a normally open contact. So how do we fix this problem? A lot of, a lot of people know, but if you take this little clip off right here, pop this off, turn this over. Another way, and put the clip back on. Much easier when you have the key hands free. Okay. Now, in this particular unit, you see, it still doesn't work. Let's find out why it doesn't work. Cut this up. Lockout, tag out procedure. Open the door. Sometimes those doors are not always easy to get off. Okay, let's see what he did here. So what he did was he series that float switch in line with the factory condensate pump. All right. By doing so, even if the switch was the correct switch, uh, both switches would have to be tripped for it to shut the unit down. Now, God forbid that that pump should stop working. This tray would fill up full of water and, you know, it doesn't look super solid to me. I don't know if it would hold that much water. So we would want this to shut it off. Plus, there's a huge UPS over there and it would really suck to have a bunch of water dump in there. So what I'm going to do to correct this, I already fixed the switch. So I'm going to disconnect this one lead here. Bear with me one second. There you go. Disconnect this lead. And you put it back together with the other lead from that switch that they installed. Take the other lead. I know these are wire strippers, uh, but I, I like these. They work really well. And I'm just going to put all these together. I guarantee it's gonna work now.